Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to review another trimmer and this time is going to be from Brown. The name is All-in-One Trimmer 3. Also, it's called 6-in-1 Styling Kit. And another name is MGK32214 Europe and 3220 for US. This is the box. Pretty good packaging. Let's open it and see what's inside. So this is what we have inside. We have the manual, the actual trimmer, the power cord, a little brush and attachments or combs. And they come in many sizes. You have number one, which is one millimeters, two, two millimeters. And then you have these combs that are adjustable and they go all the way from three to 11, with size three, five, seven, nine and 11. And the second one is with the sizes from 13 all the way to 21. 13, 15, 17, 19 and 21. And also we have the no streamer attachment. There you go. Let's see how it works. This is the sound of it. And let's try to attach these combs. Very easy to attach, put it on, put it off, remove, change to the one that you wish. Now, for these attachments, after you insert it like so, you need to push this green button and to adjust as you want. If you want five millimeters, just press the green button here and move it there you go similarly with this second adjustable comb so it would set up in 21 and then you press move it closer or move far away according to your desire now let's put on the no streamer attachment and see how it works so just unplug this one and insert the no streamer and it works and similar to previous video let's see if it works the same on the hand Well, as you can see, some hair on the on the table, so it works. Attaching and detaching is like so easy. It's much easier than the Philips one from previous video. Next, we want to check if this will work if it's plugged in. So for those in Europe, the plug comes a little bit different. I managed the way to plug it in. I think this plug is special for the bathroom or something like that. Uh, for a US customer should be all right. But when you plug it in, it doesn't work. So if I unplug it, it works. This is, I think it's a con because maybe you want to use it uh, while in the bathroom, uh, but you cannot, you have to wait. And what's the point of having a bathroom plug when you cannot use it in the bathroom? Another con is, I think, compared to previous one trimmer, the Philips one, is that we don't have, we don't get a, a bag, a little pouch to just put everything in into one location. But the good thing is that here we have so many options. Like you have 
from zero millimeters all the way till to 21 which is quite good i'm not even sure if you need all of them but maybe you are like a pro and need all of them okay so now i'm gonna answer some questions from one of my previous videos that also we can relate here so first one does it work while plugged no it doesn't work while plugged you have to plug it charge it and then you can use it how long is the wire so the length of the power cord is 90 centimeters or three feet how long does it take to charge it takes 10 hours to fully charge according to this how long the battery lasts the battery lasts 50 minutes according to this information but i think i'm gonna test it out so i'm gonna leave it charged for the night and turn it on tomorrow and see how much it will work for so i put both of them to charge for hours and i'll keep them for about 10 12 hours even 16 hours to charge completely both show green i'm not sure if this is a sign of uh, charging there is no other sign on them that shows if it's fully charged or partly charged this one's, they don't have any leds or little bulbs that would indicate the level of charging and this is how they work this one doesn't work when plugged in but this one works and if i'm plugged this one of course would work and this one wakes up so yeah i'm gonna put them back to charge and i will uh, test both of them how long will they work without stoppage so both have been charging for about 18 hours and uh, they should be fully charged both have the same green led and i'm gonna just switch it off they're charging and then turn them on and let them work until they both die to see which one works the most And that's it both of them are now dead and by the way this one the Philips is a bit warmer than the brown one even though the brown worked far more than the Philips one another question is about the warranty as I can see here it's about two years the guarantee is two two years you can read it here
the price well price was about 20 so i think it's similar anywhere in the world 20 euro pounds or dollars i got it from amazon i'll put some links in the description below so you guys can look at it if you want to buy it next question is if it's waterproof well it doesn't specifically say if it's waterproof as i can see but it says that the heads and the combs are washable so i think just removing this and washing it and let it dry of course and these combs could be washed next question noise level okay so we have the decibel meter like you can download these apps from uh, the store so far let's see how quiet it can be so it's around 40 now let's turn it on and see what's the difference So it, it got to around 65 so from this distance it got about 25 decibels more now let's add the Philips one I'll put it in the same place so it doesn't change So yeah, as you can see, Philips is a little bit louder. Maybe because it's not new. I have been using it for a bit, maybe a few months. Um, maybe this is the reason. I'm not sure. But this, this one shows 65 and this one would show 70. These are the differences in the size. The design is completely different the power button are on the other side but both of them feel comfortable in the hand but I think this one is a bit more easier to handle it has a nicer feel in the hand this is my opinion and the way it should be similar this is a close-up look for the blades Next, we are going to the bathroom to test it out. We're gonna use one of these adjustable combs first to see if we can remove, cut any hair from my beard. I'm gonna set it to the smallest one, number three, and let's go ahead. As you can hear, it does sound that like it cut some hair, although it's number three, my hair is not as long, so let's move to the next one, and next one is number two, we have to change the adapter, the attachment to a new comb, and we are next gonna put comb number two, very easy to attach, this is, this is a very good point about attachments. Okay, we're getting there, it got a little bit more and it works good so far. Next we're gonna change it from number two and put on number one.
and I think it does a very good job a little bit more here to remove but I'm gonna go ahead and switch to zero so I removed the attachment there is no attachment now and let's just finish this job So similar to the Philips one, this one has like a safety distance between upper and lower blades so it doesn't cut your skin. So as you can see, similarly I have no cuts, just a little bit of redness for this very sensitive skin, which is fine. But we all want a perfect uh, smooth cut. This won't work here, it's a rough one. So it's not so smooth. If you want, you have to shave after that. But I think that uh, uh, for um, Philips uh, trimmer, I got a better result in terms of the cut was smoother. We actually can look at the video and compare it. So this is a small haircut which I got with uh, this brown all-in-one trimmer number three. What I did is just make some uh, fade over here. Uh, the result, I think it's all right. Uh, homemade, real quick. Didn't take me a lot of time. I used only uh, one of these combs or attachments and I used it for number 13 and then went up a little bit to make the fade a little bit smoother. Well, I think I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, just to freshen up really easy and fast. And of course, used zero to make a good hairline on my neck. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to watch this video. It was a pleasure for me to show it to you. I'll put some links in the description below. So if you want to order it, you can buy it online. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer to everyone. Also, you can comment below what do you suggest to review in my next videos. And to see the next videos, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you, ciao, bye!